Hey, yo, what it do, what it does, what it did. This is Behind the Boards Conversation, and I am Old Man Kola. And right here with me, we have DJ Extraordinaire, uh, restaurant owner now, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Podcast host, and man, you'll just hear what else he does. This is Banks, Banks, Banks. How are you, brother? I'm all good. And yourself? Ugh, I'm easy. Yeah, yeah. I'm easy, man. So, yeah, man, like, let's just jump right into it. Tell me, um... When did this all start for you? Like in terms of DJing and stuff. DJ. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, can I curse on this? Thing? Can I yeah, curse on this? Show? Well, oh, 100%. Cool. Yeah, I started back in 2005. Five. Yeah, 2005. Yeah, I'm old. Nah. <laughs> I'm old. Oh, five. Yeah. Start, how old were you at the time? Uh, I think I was. I just started high school. Damn. Just yeah, started. I'm 30. Nah. So yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm 30. Yeah, so oh five. Or five with my friends, uh, we started like a DJ crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what was uh, it called? Uh, to three sixty, called three sixty. Oh yeah. So we started DJ crew, and then the all, the all were playing house. Oh so yeah. So I was the yeah. only guy that played hip hop because my background, my older brother introduced me to hip hop. Oh yeah. So yeah. I started naturally started playing hip hop out of the whole crew. Yeah. And then as years went by, they started falling apart to go into other uh, careers. You know, oh, one yeah, is an engineer, yeah. one is a movie director. The other two have oh, passed shit. have passed on. Oh, so I stayed on entertainment and just kept pushing the DJing throughout. Oh yeah. yeah. So I can come to say my my first proper gig when I became professional mm-hmm. uh, was 2000 and I think 2007, 2008. 2007. Yeah, 2007, That's 2008. Like grade 10, grade 11. Yeah, and like even grade then 11. you're still pretty young. Yeah, bro. I was really young. Like I, I mean, I was I was getting booked in clubs when I was like oh, 17, shit. bro. Yeah. Oh shit. That shit. must have been crazy. Yeah. So like my first proper club gig was Capello's in Hatfield. Oh yeah. Uh, like Capello's. Yeah, Hatfield. and then Zanzu, the original Zanzu before oh, the yeah. Zanzu. Yeah. So I used Without to. I used, the o. Yeah, I used to play there a lot. Yeah. Oh shit, no, no, but that's dope. I mean, it's roughly yo. Hey man, you've got years in this. Bro. Yeah, it's almost twenty years. Yeah, uh, ten thousand hours. Yeah, ten thousand hours for yeah. real. Bro. Yeah, ten thousand hours for real. And then, like, what? Actually, before you even get into that, um, I wanted to know of what ethnicity are you? Like, where are you from? Oh, oh originally, uh, I'm Congolese. You're Congolese. Yeah, so uh, I was born in the DRC, and then um, we moved to SA. I actually, came to SA on holiday. I was just, yeah, I wasn't supposed to stay here. So my oh, younger bro- my younger brother was diagnosed with cancer. Oh, so shit. he came here for treatment and then we had, we used to come visit. Yeah. So the one trip we came to visit and just we just never went back home. You just never went yeah, back home. Yeah, my dad just like things are better this side, so yeah. we end up staying and schooling here. But yeah, I'm Congolese though. Yeah, yeah. alright, dope. That's dope, man. And yo, that that that's actually something I didn't expect. It's actually yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay, and then um in terms of like your, your DJing, how would yeah. you say that influences that? Like where you're from and like all these things. It really doesn't because like, I'm, I mean, the, the stuff we listen to back home is not really... All that different. Yeah, it's, it's, it's different, totally different from yeah, here. Yeah, and yeah. also, I, I I don't know, I mean, I know of one successful DJ, but he also passed on uh, oh, like sure. a year ago or so. But like DJing in general just doesn't align with, with my background, where yeah. I come from and stuff yeah. like that. And... And my, my background, my entertainment was never part of part it was of. Was never part yeah. of. Yeah. What was like, the plan? I was supposed to be an accountant. Oh shit. Yeah, I started accounting. You studied accounting. Yeah, you DJ. No, I dropped out. You dropped out. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't keep paying for my own school fees and oh, DJing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so but I, I come I come from a very strict uh, family. Yeah. My dad's were very strict, so school was the only the only, only thing. Way. Yeah, entertainment was far from. So Something. I'm, so yeah. I'm guessing when you hopped onto the DJ thing, you you hate it. You still yeah. hate it. You still hates it now. Yeah. You still yeah. hate it. But there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. So yeah, you just have to accept, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, my parents hated it. Anything to do with entertainment, they hated it. They hated that shit. Mm. Um and now like now that you've actually mentioned the fact that you studied in UJ, right? Yeah. What that's got me thinking is why why didn't you establish yourself that side? Like so the, yeah, so what's what, what's crazy is is initially that was a plan, because the 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 we all know Joburg is, is is the that's where the market the is market like. is. So I, I specifically chose to go to UJ over any other university because I wanted to be based in Joburg. Oh yeah. And then uh, my my one one of the guys is to look up to. I, f- I forgot the guy's name. He disappeared though. I don't know where he is. Mm. He was also a DJ and he told me that is is go home establish yourself from home make a name oh, for yeah, yourself yeah, yeah, yeah. and then from there you will be you'll be able to to attract everyone else but coming here not really 
a good idea yeah. but go home establish everything you want to do build your brand from there and from there you're able to expand and that's what i did so after UJ, after I dropped out i moved back to pretoria yeah went tried going to unisa to school wasn't my thing i learned what i need to learn yeah yeah and yeah. then yeah and I kept pushing pretoria to where we are today yeah man and it's, it's a pretty dope place and yeah yeah another thing another thing I, I like to highlight is the fact that like you guys man your generation of yeah. djs yeah especially you and venom yeah right um i feel like you guys managed to break through quite better like better than like people that came before and and yeah that are currently doing it yeah now. crazy crazy fact venom was actually my groupie what yeah venom was group as a dj mm. yeah so when so venom venom was well because he's zambian right yeah yeah so yeah. venom used to fly in for school holidays yeah yeah yeah. and then he used to fly in and go watch me play like i'll be djing he didn't know us also were the same age oh yeah, yeah, yeah. so he fly in sneak into the club and sit by the dj booth and watch me play and watch you play yeah holy shit. crazy so you were like a phenom because you were young and yeah so, so I was, like I, I, for the longest time i was the youngest dj like yeah, yeah, around yeah. anyway you mm. know so venom used to fly in school holidays and you would go to zenzu and sit there and watch me dj so yeah going back to your question yeah, 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 yeah. um what's the question again <laughs> no my thing is like with with regards to like how you guys broke oh, how through, we right? broken I, I think the the, the older guys yeah the one thing the one thing that they didn't well the one thing they didn't do was give us platform oh yeah yeah, yeah. so they were, they were gatekeeping they were gatekeeping, they were gatekeeping. Like but now while they were gatekeeping they they were not networking enough to expand oh. so they were, they were literally just gatekeeping they'll also pretoria just by itself oh, yeah, so yeah, we yeah. we figured that the only way to break out the system is by networking so we'll go to job like oh, yeah. i spent my early 20s traveling south africa just gigging for free Shit. yeah i've been to grahamstown been to durban mm-hmm. been to pitt marisburg been to cape town and all of that i did that because in the longer run i was building a, 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 a powerful network system yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. at any given time i can pick up a phone call and call anyone in, 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 around the country yeah and be able to get a gig or whatever Shit. but i spent all those years building network and that's what the older guys before us failed to do that's what they and then that i think that's why things worked out much easier because i mean guys would be like how are you getting booked in cape town yeah but because i spent two years going to cape town playing for free mm. you know booking my own you accommodation stuff establishing myself so by the time i was by the time i was given the opportunity to showcase my skills i had already the network yeah. all i had to do now is just show up and deliver and then from there things w- will play for themselves so i think networking was the one thing that that shifted us from the guys before us yeah and yeah. when it comes to the guys after you would you say they're too complacent about the like i don't know one thing's handed to them it's tricky because I, I mean at a, at a certain point in our lives we're all young yeah you know yeah, we're, yeah. All, we're all doing things differently so with them i wouldn't say the one things to be handed to them things are just different for them the way it oh, was for yeah, us yeah, you yeah, know like yeah. we we had to go out and actually dj for you to, to hear that i'm a good dj yeah. and with the with the kids now all oh, they have to just record a video of them dj and putting on, on social, social media, media you know so up. yeah so he doesn't have to physically go to mm. clubs oxford gigs i mean he can still do it but in their in their area they can just put up a video and club owners will see that and be able to book for book yeah. them for that so when when people say they want things to hand it out to them as i was i wouldn't really agree to that yeah. but they they marketing strategy is different from what it was what for it us was for you yeah guys. you know because yeah. this thing's dynamic it yeah has yeah it has to change and then when it comes to let me say being a, a south african hip-hop dj right? yeah um i always see on the tl and just in person hear djs complain about the fact that it's hard to break out new songs or try to progress with sound that's why they constantly play like old sets and stuff do you feel the same I t- <sighs> yo it's debatable because as a good dj right yeah. a good a good dj you you play what everyone wants to hear a great dj breaks records right oh, yeah. so what people struggle is to find the balance between the good and a great dj you know and with 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 hip-hop is people like <sighs> playing new songs in the club it's it's a handful of people that will know about it yeah you know yeah, people yeah, are actually yeah. into the culture and those are, are those are those who aren't part of the culture only want to hear things that they're exposed to commercially so things they see on tv yeah. on tiktok and what what you know that's how they know songs but if not part of the culture part of the ecosystem you won't know that 
next to see drop to uh, join unless yeah. you see it on unless you see it on, on, TV, on, on tv or, or instagram yeah. or using a tiktok you know so that's what i'm saying just trying to find a balance between a good dj and a great dj still be able to break sound you know still be able to drop new music yeah. at the same time also people go to clubs to have a good time oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you know so do not deprive them the 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 the, the thinking the the fun in hearing songs that they, they love whether it's an old song you know yeah, that's something it's all about oh, yeah. finding balance you know guys want to go to club and sing along to things they know and stuff yeah. like that you know it's only like a really handful of people that will tell you i heard this song in a club and you know i had to shazam it only works i mean with ama piano because yeah, 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 yeah. that the culture is all about playing stuff no one knows yeah, yeah, yeah. you know that's so exactly that's why it works for them it but with hip-hop it's, it's totally different it's the opposite. yeah because niggas want to sing back yeah niggas want to sing back you know dance with their hands dog hands yeah. on the toilet and shit so <laughs> you know yeah. yeah man and then like now that you've touched on ama piano like um you come from a city that's predominantly ama piano that's yeah. ama piano driven um, have you ever been like persuaded? Have you ever been like, as, 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 have you ever wanted to? Rather? Have nah. you ever wanted to dip in it? Nah. Or move in that I, I, I love, I love the, that genre of music. I love it. Yeah. Everyone knows. I love. It. I always played, but like just like you know, you know, some someone someone said this to me years ago. Uh, he said that just because you love something doesn't mean you have to be in it. In it, yeah. you can be part of it. You know, you can be, you know, if if you love if you love if you love hip hop, yeah. Just cause you, you just cause you can't rap doesn't mean you can't be a manager of a rapper. Yeah. You can't create a podcast that promotes rap Rappers. music. You know, the same thing with Amapian. Piano. I don't have to produce or thingy, but I can be part of, part of the system. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, but I'll never switch. Is that yeah. is that kind of what you're doing with Banks and Friends? Banks and Friends. You know, to tell the truth, why I started Banks and Friends. Yeah. So we used to get bored on Thursdays. Yeah. A lot. So like myself, Foka, Venom, Durban, Gogo, what what. Mm. So gigging on Thursday was really wasn't really booming back then. Yeah. yeah you know. Yeah. So at, at that time I was I just left TSC. So I told them like yo man we want to go to TSC every Thursday and just chill and vibe and stuff and yeah. that's what Banks of Friends started about and then from there we were able to I was able to expand it and turn it into like a culture thing. Yeah. Where, yeah, yeah you know. Yeah. Where we, place place, yeah, where yeah. guys pull up, you know, it, it literally became like a. I didn't, I don't know how big it was until people tell me about it. And I just still yeah. get shocked because for me, it was just like us friends chilling. I'm like, oh, dude, let us do Thursdays, and I just started doing Thursdays, but I didn't really think we'd get that big, you know. But yeah. Oh man, that's dope. That's dope because I, I really thought you were just trying to start a whole marketing thing. Right? No, like no promotion type of nah, clubs. Nah, stuff. nah, not even. Not what, even. What, I was just, organic. yeah, it's just organic. Like, I was, we're not gigging a lot on Thursday. And I just started it so me and my friends yeah. can play and drink and stuff. I know, but that's dope. That's yeah. also a really dope way to like break through artists and stuff. Yeah, like also, that. yeah. I yeah. saw with your most recent one, I think you did at Zen Zoo. You had the likes of Lash. Yes, yeah. yeah. So, like, like with mentioned to what, 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 what happened to us years ago when we were coming yeah. up, guys, guys, uh, before us never to give us platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, with with what I'm trying to do now, not even though I have my own venue, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I want the young guys to be able to rock. You know, I, you can't always have the same people. So give give the kids a chance. You know, give so even with, with with this one I did at Zanzu, there was a bit of a politics and stuff. So I had to yeah. change. I have to change the name. So I'm starting a thing called the Jungle once oh, a month. Yeah. That one's the whole event is literally just focused on all the young guys. Oh, it's yeah, it's yeah, their yeah. baby. Yes, I'm putting the whole thing together, but it's their baby. They push. They, they do what. Do yeah, they do everything. Uh, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, that's dope. Man. That's dope. And then, like speaking about being a part of it and like basically playing a role in it, but not necessarily being it. Yeah. Um, I wanted to talk to you about like. I see uh, Venom and Shishiliza now. Yeah, they they they're coming up with a with a compilation. Uh, yeah, or yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Album. Yeah. Are you looking to go in that direction anytime soon? No, really, man. Like I, I'm 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 too much of a businessman. Yeah, I love yeah, money. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm too much of a business. So music, making music in in general, has never really been my thing like oh, that. Yeah. You know, I appreciate I appreciate the 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 the, the whole process, but like. Me being part of it and making music yeah. has never really been my thing, so I don't think I'll do. It. I mean, I've, I've got a few records just chilling, like. Oh yeah. Yeah, with with uh, with Tyler, Tyler ICU. Oh shit. Yeah, like 
this gang wreck is chilling so i don't know one day when i get bored i'll maybe drop music but like not i'm not really deep into like that i'll never drop an ep album anything like that but i do have joints with tyler and 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 oh. junior junior torres and stuff so yeah that's actually really crazy yeah the, the, the people you just mentioned on hip hop. yeah so they're actually <laughs> yo it's it's crazy yeah so yeah. Ty, uh so junior torres we have two joints together Damn. and then me and tyler i think we're about six or seven Shit. Just chilling. Just, just, just chilling, it. yeah. Just drop it, bro. So maybe if I feel like drop, I'll just drop it. But yeah. yeah. And then now let's talk about the whole YFM thing. Cause yeah. I mean, you in the podcast base as well. Yeah. How did yeah. that come about? Like. Oh, it came about. Uh, we during lockdown, we're doing this yeah. thing called lockdown ready, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh. So fast forward. We felt. So what happened is. We figured, you know, man. Look, let's let's see how far we can take this thing. Yeah. Let's see how, how far we can take this thing, and then we we'll call up. I call up a homie of mine, networking again. Exactly. Power of networking. Call up a homie of mine, and then he called. He called the boss of YFM straight. Whoa. Yeah. So we spoke. I'll just mention them. I call. I called Sibu. Oh, yeah. Sibu Mabena. So I say, yo, I yeah. So Sibu, this is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. And then Sibu's like, uh, because it's it's youth, you know, uh, it's, it's youth based and all of that. Try YFM, and then yeah, it was one phone call, and then the next day we we're having a Zoom meeting with the boss. Damn. Yeah, and then and then a month a month or so later, yeah, we got we got the we got the, the, the uh, we got approved. You got approved. Yeah, and then yeah, two three months later, then we started shooting. Shit. Power of networking. Nah, man. Power yeah. Network kids. Networking network. guys. <laughs> network. No, yeah. No, so no, yeah, no. So, yeah that's how that's what came about. And but we we put the whole thing together, man. We everything. We, yeah. Production we hands on everything. 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 The, the only thing YFM YFM brings is just the 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 production guys. Yeah. But we we do the, we put everything from guests, like the guests and, and everything. everything. We, yeah. we we do everything. Yeah. And you guys had some healthy healthy guests. On yeah. Stage. Again, power of networking. Power of networking. Just so we just made a few phone calls and we invited our friends to come through, and yeah, man. Like I, I like I always think. I don't, I don't have a big hit. Let me say. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I knew we we're gonna do well, yeah, but yeah, not yeah. that well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like it just blew my mind. Like oh, okay. You know, yeah. what I, mean? I think we're sitting on like two, 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 or two point five million views on all eight episodes combined. Yeah. In total. Yeah, Shit, I think so we. Definitely yeah, with the, yeah, with the season. second biggest podcast numbers after mcg G. Oh, yeah if i'm not mistaken shit. yeah no, and, we, and we only have eight episodes and you only have eight yeah episodes. only have eight episodes yeah oh so that's you're talking about total views. total yeah so second to mcg yeah Yo. so because must i think mcg drops every every week or yeah, every yeah, day yeah, or whatever yeah so, he's, yeah, so he's, he's, he's got the biggest yeah, yeah. and anyone after mcg has to has to be us we just eight episodes i think we are over two million already no nah, man that's Damn. Yeah, that's, that's really impressive. That's man. crazy, yeah. <laughs> and also, we, we we are the only one with the last uh, interview Mpura did. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, man. We're the only one, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. And I mean, now that you've mentioned it, like, once you heard about his passing, I was... Yo, it was crazy, man. I woke up. Yeah, yo, you? I was at home. Yo, this thing... Oh, guys, it's crazy. Uh, I woke up and then in the group... Like uh-huh. everyone was just like crazy is the night two nights before I can't remember two three nights before was it the night the, I think the night before the manager uh, Forbes was with us yeah he's always with Mpura yeah yeah so yeah. we're we at I think that those parties called Ethiopia I think Ethiopia oh yeah 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 and we even I, I remember even asking because we're chilling outside drinking how where's Mpura oh is that a gig oh yeah yeah can't you that time you already, you already crashed on it's and, already crashed yeah so we didn't know yeah, so the whole time we go over, we go home. We, we we go home, we sleep. So I wake up, ow, oh, dog, and Tuli calls me. It's like, yo, man, Pura, and then he passed on and stuff. So I'm like, how? Oh, but we're with Forbes just like the night before, yeah. you know. And he he end up he didn't, he didn't, where he was supposed to go. So the bus, the bus from the story I heard, the bus that was supposed to go within the trip yeah. had an issue, had to fix it. So they gave them a car, a rental car, oh, to drive there. Damn, so they weren't even supposed to drive to begin. Yeah, to drive that damn. car. Yeah. Yo, 
Yeah, yeah it was hard, man. It was really hard because yeah. I mean, like, it was always it was always laughter party, man. When you walk into a space, yeah. everyone knows who Pura is and stuff, you know. Yeah. So it was really hard. And he was really on the come up, man. Yeah, man. He was he was a do big things, bro. Like him and him and Folk had an EP together. A whole EP. Yeah, dog. Yo. And oh. every time he plays those songs, it's tricky. Like, seems like the guy's yeah, gone, man. bro. Damn, yeah. Man, some hard shit. Yeah, it was crazy, man. Shit. R.I.P. Mpura. Yeah. And, yeah, now that you mentioned Foka, like, your your relationship with Foka, of course, dates back. Yeah, yeah. Way back way, yeah, right? yeah. Um, and how is it now? Like, how are you guys now? I mean, yeah, all my friends all my friends are cool, man. Like, all your friends are successful as shit. Yeah, like, it's weird. All these niggas, like, superstars and shit. Yeah. Like, you know. But, like, our, I think I think one thing we respect about, about our friendship is we, we understand where each person is in life you know oh, we don't yeah, we don't yeah, have yeah. to see each other every day i mean we're all in the same group but we don't have to talk every day and stuff like that but whenever you 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 want to speak to someone you can just video call them you know yeah, and yeah, be like yeah. hey what's up you good check up on each other but yeah man like our relationship with everyone is still the same you know we're still supportive we're still pushing and you know the pressure's there because i mean you whatever you do you have to be good at it you, you have know to be good at yeah it, you, we don't yeah we don't we don't we don't allow mediocre work so you you have to give the best of the best you know oh, yeah bro, that's dope that's dope i think that's something people should just tell in all their friendships bro. yeah just yeah try, <laughs> well let's try for the best man, yeah, man. And, um let's talk about cotton first right yeah you played a cotton first yeah it? was it your first time playing no i've been playing since the first since since, since the first inception yeah since inception yeah since its inception yeah so what, what was what was different about with this one compared to all the other years because Rick was in there pulling up to all the stages and hugging people man that's what he used to do yeah like I think he used to walk around like I think sometimes he, for, he forgets his Ricky oh yeah yeah so like he was just walking around the cotton face by himself no security no nothing security, just no walking no. around taking pictures laughing chatting you know he let him just pull up on stage and give you a hug and vibe with you and walk away and go to the next you know so different hey man he, because Rico wasn't there just walking around hugging people and taking pictures and snaps and chatting so you can you, you can you feel, can feel yeah something, missing. something was missing but was it you still know, special very man. very special man yeah. uh, guys guys made sure that we we still felt Ricky's spirit yeah you know throughout from like, from every single stage from the main stage to the hip-hop and yeah. the house stage and stuff so yeah yeah because they had a house stage this year right yeah they always do they, they always, always do, do. yeah Thing is, I've never been. Yeah, cause I've you don't. Which you've been, yeah. been to Cotton Fest, right? No. You've never been. To, yeah, they, they always have a, a house stage. It's yeah. Shakes Day also, yo. It always shakes. Yeah, but obviously this year now it's I'm a piano. Oh stuff, yeah, so, yeah. It's, yeah. It's not direct house. Yeah. Okay, now let's let's get into to your to your business stuff, yeah. right? As far as I know, I know like you're, you're the owner, a part owner of Barco. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, how did that come about? Uh. So I've always wanted to open my own shop, my yeah. own uh, venue, and uh, just before COVID, I was looking for space, and then COVID hit, oh, yeah. obviously, and then that that was on hold, and then I found the space just after COVID, which is right actually, yeah, yeah, found yeah. the space, and I was ready to go, and then politics you know as gangsters and stuff politics. oh yeah 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 so the, yeah the club politics yeah Things so can't talk about. yeah so it got tricky so i had to put yeah. that i had to put that on on on, on pause yeah so my friends my pop my partner my partners at barcode yeah they were still they were initially opening they barcode without me oh yeah, yeah yeah without me and then they approached me a couple of times like yo man we have a space would love for you to buy into you know i thought I, it took me like three months to make my decision yeah like i wasn't you weren't feeling it like that yeah like I, it's it, it needs to feel right and that movie yeah. didn't feel right in that time you know so eventually i made up my mind I'm like you know what yeah i'll just buy or buy or buy shares and then we run it we run it together and stuff yeah. so that's that's literally that's what happened that's how it happened yeah i remember that's dope so are you still looking to open your own spot that is my spot but we now I can't be giving out plans. So I can't I can't I can't even say anything. But yeah. For now for now that's that's yeah. running and for Barco specifically, uh I wanna franchise it eventually. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna turn into a franchise, you know. And yeah, that's 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 the vision I have I have for I have for Barco. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then outside of like 
venues and spaces like that what else what else are you dabbling into in terms of business i'm trying i'm trying to go into agriculture man oh yeah yeah like I'm trying you say agriculture do you mean agriculture or like like i grow agriculture no agriculture like i'm trying like like on on like uh i'm trying to get land yeah so what i'm what, I'm, what i want to do is i want to like, get land uh-huh. that i can rent to a farmer to so i don't have to do the work yeah, 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 yeah. so try, I'm, I'm still looking hopefully i can find a good a good a good land and i can rent it to a farmer then he can pay me rent for farming and doing that yeah and then hopefully one day i might also get into farming get cows and whatever just those things those things take long so yeah if i do it i'll probably be doing it for my kids and stuff but yeah for now i just want to buy land and then rent it to a farmer hopefully learn the business through him and as years go by i'll probably own my own farm and stuff so that's what i'm busy with right now that's dope man. yeah that's dope and that's that's a really dope thing to look into yeah especially in South Africa. yeah i mean you, you have to expand COVID, if anything COVID taught us is as much as you can make money from alcohol yeah. hey Hey, can be tricky, can be tricky man. The government can, can decide. Can now. just decide it's tricky, yeah, you know. So yeah. yeah. Alright, man, alright, man. And then with regards to what's this? With regards to building platforms yeah. for like up and coming artists. I mean you already mentioned banks and friends. Would yeah. you look into like doing something like festivals and such? No really. Not never that. Yeah, I mean not really. Yeah. yeah, not really. So for me right now I'm in the phase in my life where uh hosting parties events i'm, I'm out that yeah, phase now man. yeah I'm, I'm out that phase now so balcony is the platform yeah you yeah, know yeah, yeah. so that's why it's easier to have young guys running the the, the lineups and stuff because those are his peers you know oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, he yeah. knows who are the hardest guy he relates, guy. To, them. He relates to them relates. So, you know that's what we've uh, lose that uh Liz, uh Liz does mondays yeah day by barcode most does lineups on the weekends we can get more guys to do other days of the week so in that way they can use barcode as a platform for them to 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 expand and grow as djs and stuff you know oh, so eventually when i open other venues that that will all still be the same formula and stuff you know so yeah exact same formula yeah. and starting a family DC, yeah DC no in the near future definitely getting married that's not never my thing married. never getting married why it's not my thing man you just have to know yourself as a person i'm yeah, never getting yeah. married i'm gonna cheat on my wife so i don't need that stress <laughs> i don't need the stress so i, I don't i don't want to put anyone through that so I, I, I i'm definitely like, no, I not getting you. married life partner i don't know but definitely 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 gonna have kids yeah. and then um something something I, i've i've kind of gathered from this conversation yeah you seem like a very focused person when it comes to the shit you need to focus yeah on. Like, where do you think that comes from is it like it's still from your parents or is it because you had to like start working at a young age and stuff uh-uh. or you chose to start working i mean parents uh, not to show what but my dad because i left well yeah. m- my dad works back home oh yeah. so i really so my experience with mom was much younger so i didn't really learn much my mom works hard because i mean i grew up she she raised us yeah. but like with with the kind of person i am i think it's a mixture of a lot of things mm. including my background obviously and then the things i want out of life yeah. and you know and just understanding that work needs to be done you know we can play after but work needs to be done and you, yeah you need you need utmost focus to accomplish the best of whatever Damn. you want to do and you know and especially if 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 you if you really want something there's always there's always be a, a distraction oh, you know and and i try i try avoiding all distraction at, at any cost so that's i'm always so focused at yeah. what i need to do let me do it and get it done get the job done you know are there any things like you particularly do like any practices that you have to like ensure that you stay focused my working my working schedule is actually crazy oh yeah but don't no take don't, don't take this advice yeah i work when i want to yeah so yeah. in that way when i decide to work my full attention's on it exactly. yeah don't tell me what to do when to work i work when i want to but with that being said i make time for span you, you know time, but i'll get the job done you know like also yeah just you know if you don't feel like doing something don't do it then rest because you're not giving your full potential your full your full focus on you it, it, it should never feel forced it needs to be organic so if today i woke up and I felt like I can't do this interview. I was gonna say I can't do this interview. Yeah, I just yeah, carry yeah. on sleeping and resting, you know. But I woke up. I'm like, okay, I have shit to do today and stuff. I made time for and you do yeah. that. But 
don't take my advice but always do things when you want to do it when you actually want yeah. to do them yeah do the things you actually want to do yeah yeah yeah, yeah man and something I realized is that like you're probably the first person we've interviewed that got here before us really I'm shocked yeah, yeah shocked like you, you, ha- you have you have to I don't know like you you have to I mean it's 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 you have to respect people's time yeah. and, and work you know it's like like I can't book DJs and they're not showing up that means they don't respect me and and and, and the business so I, I told you guys I'll be able to do this interview and I got yeah. you in time well a bit way early but I got you in time and yeah it's just respect man respect, respect people's respect, time man. and people's craft you know I won't lie we yeah. genuinely appreciate that yeah, yeah. we genuinely do okay and um, one of the last few questions I want to ask you is yeah. right now like most of the time where do you spend most of your time now like are you on barcode most of the time yeah so barcode my working scheduled barcode um, so weekdays yeah. I'm there mostly uh, during the day yeah. so chances are you probably won't see me because you guys are probably still sleeping from your hand because you hung over at something oh wow no, yeah no, no, so no, no. I'm there mostly during the day yeah. and then weekends are coming at night so my partners they are there during the week or during the day on the weekend are yeah. coming at night but if not a barcode I'm, I'm gigging Yeah. I'm always gigging. If I'm not gigging, I'm at home, man. Like, yeah, I'm a whole, I'm a homebody, bro. Like, if I have no, if I have no business on the streets, yeah. I'm in my house. I'm in home. Home. my house. I'm chilling. You know. Yeah. One thing. One thing. One thing I've also realized since I've kind of stepped into this entertainment scene is yeah. that like, the more, okay, the more I'm in it, the less I want to do with it. Like, I, I don't know how to explain this. Like, yeah, no, because because i work at like a club or something yeah when you don't want to club yeah like, yeah yeah it's like that yeah like so it's something like that yeah you? yeah like i've no you've been at yeah, it yeah i've no business school. being in the club or yeah. being that's something like it's if i'm not getting a bag or if i'm not a barcode i'm literally in my house oh, literally sure. in my house just chilling watching tv catching up whatever yeah, it is exactly. i do yeah but i'm yeah. i've done i don't really go out and do a lot of things because right. i'm an introvert Yeah, I know yeah, it sounds yeah. crazy, but I'm actually an introvert. The introvert. Yeah, so I don't. You, you won't catch me in the public unless I'm working or something. Ah, yeah. Well, man. Ah, man. This has been a really dope chat. Um, a few last words from you that we'd like to hear is like, um, what's what's in the future? What what are you about to get up to now? Uh, what's in the future? Yeah. Just more businesses and more businesses. monopolizing Pretoria. Yeah, I yeah, can yeah, say yeah. that. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah so yeah, man, it's. It's not it's not open just dope stuff do dope stuff man just doing things i want i've always wanted to do so yeah but definitely one the next five years just to get more venues out there yeah. and you know open more more clubs or restaurant that are student 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 for, oriented. yeah oriented yeah. Just so you know that's that's really what my next five year plan is for now not to tell you because it's gonna happen anyway but yeah, that, yeah that's 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 the plan for the next five years so yeah That's beautiful, bro. Onwards and upwards. Bro. That's, Thank that's you the so much for this convo. And yeah, man. It's been BTBC. That was Banks. And we out. Peace.